Arab Met in the Wanda booth with JC Holt, of, um, previously of the group that launched Birdie Nom Nom, the wildly popular game, and now of Gameabox, a new platform for gaming reviews. JC, how are you? Fine, and you? Excellent. Excellent. Uh, have you been enjoying Arab Net so far? A uh, lot. It's a very interesting uh, event. Nice organization and nice journalist as well. What's been interesting from a gaming perspective? Uh, there is a, a lot of interest uh, for the gaming and especially mo mobile gaming uh, in this event. There are a few uh, workshops and talks about gaming and the future of mobile. So it's very interesting to be present to see all this uh, plantation and the people working on that. Excellent. So let's chat about, you launched Birdie Nom Nom last yeah. year and you guys got almost half a million downloads in inside of, you know, three weeks. Hmm. Um, it was wildly popular. Have you applied? You're now with now with Gameabox. You're going to be yep. launching several games this year. Mm. Are you applying any of the lessons of Birdie Nom Nom or the style to the new games? Yeah, we apply a lot of lessons uh, from this game. Uh, actually, we got now uh, one million downloads uh, at this time for the game, and uh, it's still growing because uh, there is a lot of attention uh, on the, this first uh, Arab-specific uh, game. And uh, I think what we've learned the most is that uh, the uh, young Arabs, they love their phones and they want to play something uh, that uh, is close to them. And they are very uh, thirst, uh, eager to, uh, to find more content uh, like Birdie Nam Nam uh, with an Arabic twist. And uh, that talk to them directly, uh, the place they live, the language they talk and uh, uh, something they like to play uh, in the culture uh, environment, cultural environment. And yeah. what kind of games are you looking to launch next? So we uh, we cannot staying in the region. Uh, we're working on a very uh, funny game, which we're going to be called uh, Ali Hood. It's uh, going to be a character which is a mix between Alibaba and uh, Robin Hood, which will uh, basically help the poor people uh, to pay their tax because uh, of a mean uh, visa uh, that uh, got, got uh, control over the region. And they will go from town to town and uh, help people uh, fight the guards and uh, stuff like that. And this is uh, a game that's going to be launched in about two or three months. Uh, we're working hard on that. And uh, a second game that uh, we hope uh, is going to be launched a, a bit after, it's called uh, Save Water. And the goal is to uh, where uh, to raise awareness on the problem of uh, water uh, wasting in the region. Uh, you have this uh, funny character, uh, he's uh, going from house to house and uh, he's pissed off because people, they don't uh, close their uh, tape well or they don't, uh, they waste the uh, water going out, uh, AC, or a lot of things like that and you uh, want to fix that. So uh, you have to uh, drive him through the home so we find a way to, uh, to fix all these leaks of water. And uh, hopefully this, uh, this game will uh, get some attention because uh, I think it's an important issue in the region. Uh, as we said uh, in uh, a lot of these events, uh, more people have access to the mobile phone than people having access to uh, drinkable water. And uh, I think it's... It's not normal and uh, we have to, to show the people that water is a precious resource and uh, probably more important than your mobile phone uh, eventually. So you're using a mobile phone game to actually to highlight the fact that people need, yeah, you know, need exactly, to conserve yeah. water. Mm. Um, so these games very much have a social message. Um, mm. Will they be? Will they still be fun? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's uh, absolutely fun. A very fun, funny game. You have to... Uh, to drive these uh, characters are doing cute noise and jumping around and you control them so uh, you solve some uh, like small puzzles uh, how to reach this tape because your character is so small and the tape is so high so you have to like build bridge and uh, jump from platform to platform so you uh, at the end reach the tape and close the, the water and uh, yeah we focus on fun on fun uh, as a most important issue in the game uh, obviously yeah. Very cool. And will they be situated actually in Arab in cities throughout the Arab world? Yeah, yeah. Uh, you, you, you will be starting uh, in a desert, in a small village, 
uh, where the water is the most important uh, thing you have to worry about because uh, access to water is something very uh, difficult in those areas and uh, then we'll, you'll go through the region through different quests and different missions and uh, it's going to be uh, localized and targeted to these uh, Arab users, Arab players. Very cool. Mm. So let's talk about Game of Box. Yeah. Um, we just launched the site this week and um, you're going to be focusing on offering reviews of games throughout the region. Yeah. What's your, what's your goal with the site? Uh, Gammabox.com is a side project but in the same area because uh, when we launched Bird in Amnam, we realized there is no much uh, dedicated website for mobile games uh, fans in the region. And it's really a shame because a lot of people want to know what's happening. Uh, they're looking for ways to discover new games and etc. So this is something that is lacking in the region. And we, we want to offer that, that as a side service from our activity so that uh, the young Arabs uh, that like to download games etc. have a place where they can know what's happening, what are the cool games done by uh, Arab studios, and uh, what the games uh, may attract them the most, because uh, there will be reviews by uh, the community, people can share their opinions, they can uh, add reviews of new games, uh, etc. And uh, by doing that, we hope we can rise the number of ways we can promote uh, our games ourselves as well, as giving the opportunity for other studios to promote their game. And, uh, and get a name in this area, uh, you know, get to know the, every studio, get to know the fans and get to know the bloggers. And so it's a, like a community gathering tool for us. I see. Yeah. So you mentioned to me uh, when we chatted about Game of Box earlier this week that in the future you want to have people actually be able to publish their games on the site. Yeah. Um, do you think you'll come into, do you think you'll compete with uh, sites like Game Taco, the Saudi based? social gaming site where, where um, developers can publish their games. Mm. Um, do you think there's enough space for both of you? I think it's not uh, in collision because GameToco.com is uh, focusing on uh, online games, browser games, uh, simple single player games that a user can play uh, on the, uh, at, at the office or at, at home simply. And uh, we're focus on, uh, focusing on something different which is mo mobile gaming, game you play on your mobile device. This is complementary. You need uh, you know, games on your uh, on the internet and games on the mobile. Maybe one day they will like be the same games, but uh, for now they are not. And uh, nobody is talking about mobile gaming uh, in the region. Concerning the publishing activity, so uh, their goal is to publish uh, games on their website. Our goal is to help the small developers in the, re in the region. The, uh, the students, uh, the, uh, the small studios that have no, no real money uh, to uh, promote their game. To do that through, through us, uh, we have some uh, publishing uh, channels we want to uh, open for them. And that's, that's how we want to, uh, to grow this uh, publishing activity at a later stage. Yeah. Right, and directly link to their apps in the mobile stores. And yeah, and uh, have their name go known from the uh, mobile operators, from the uh, phone uh, manufacturers. Probably uh, we will do some package of small games done by Arabs, you know, that kind of stuff. Very cool. Well, keep yeah. us posted. Thank you. Thanks for chatting with us, JC. Yeah, my pleasure.